Hi, hey Russ here. Welcome back to the shop. Let's talk about my oscillating spindle drum sander, belt sander. Uh, you saw in the last episode of this, I made a six inch drum sander for it to fit on there and to have it work. And I want to give you an update on that and because now I've got dust collection on this and I'm going to show you kind of where I'm at and where we want to go with this whole project before we're done because we still got lots of things we want to do to improve this machine. Even as awesome as it is, there's lots of other things you can do with it that you probably hadn't even thought about yet. So anyway, so I have it set up with the biggest drum on there right now. And one of the things I wanted to do when I wanted to go to a bigger drum uh, on this, I wanted it to be simple and I wanted to be able to put that drum on here just as quick and as easy as I could the belt or any of the drums to do the sanding. So I didn't want it to be cumbersome to do that extra uh, the, the attachments that I'm making for this. So to begin with, if I want to use it for my big drums, first thing I do is you take it off. Now, when I use my big drum set, I do leave this plate in here. I found that it has it helps with dust collection by having this in here rather than having that there because I'm not going to use the original dust collection you and I both know this dust collection doesn't suck very well, which is to say it really sucks. But we're going to improve that. Um, we're also going to improve it for the belt sander that is attached on here at times because that's when you really get a mess from the uh, dust on this thing is with that belt sander. But that's another that's going to be another video. So anyway, so let's switch this over to my bigger drum. I made the table and this is just the prototype. I'm going to make a nicer one before I'm done. Basically a runner on the back and a dowel right here so that it lines up every time. And all you do is you drop this on here, drop it down into the minor slot and then slide it over until that dowel is touching on that side. And now it's lined up ready to go and it pretty much will stay put. So now if I want, I can put my six inch sander on here. And just this quick and easy, I now switched over from my two inch sander Whoops. We messed up. No, I can't edit this out. You're going to have to make him go ahead laugh. I messed up. You know what I did, don't you? Got to put my spacer in there. So, put my spacer in there. Now let's put the drum on. You can stop laughing now. And we tighten it down. And now I'm ready to go using this sander. Yeah, it'll be fine. I use this sander now instead. As far as dust collection, I made this hood. Basically, it's just a box open in the bottom, open in the front, and I put a couple of feet on it to clamp it to be able to clamp it down. Vacuum hose goes in and attaches at the back. And I put these two here to help guide all the sawdust directly to this at the back of the box. So basically you just set it here wherever you want it and clamp it down with a couple of clamps and you're ready to go. Now one thing you want to do is that because the rotation of this drum is going this way, you want to make this side over here as close as you can. If you're going to go at the back and have a lot of exposure, that's okay. You still want this to be close as you can get it without it touching. If you're going to come all the way forward, you still want to try to get this as close as you can to here. Then when you clamp it down, all the cell dust will go in through this side here. The airflow that tries to go in here is going to be much smaller than this side. So this will do much better at picking up the dust collection the closer you get on that side. So just keep that in mind when you put it down. Now I also told you that I kind of wanted to do a 4 inch drum and try that as compared to my 6 inch drum. And that's what I did. Uh, one thing real quick, 
when I made this, and then when I made that one, one thing I learned, this was just slid down over the cork. I made this out of hard, out of uh, press board, stacked up half inch spray board pieces on here and glued them together to make this drum. Then I wrapped it in cork, cut my belt to the exact size and Gorilla Tape and put it on here. But I found that it actually could ride up and down. So what I did is I took it off and I sprayed it with an adhesive and I put it back on there along with the Gorilla Tape here so that when I put it on there, now the uh, um, spray adhesive helps hold this from moving around. And so when I made this one, I tried a couple other ways. I tried the dowel with the slot and that didn't really work out very well for me, quite frankly. So I ended up, again, spray adhesive around the cork, Gorilla Tape on the back side where I bring this together at the seam, put it all together and this thing seems to work fine. Replacing it, we'll just have to see how that goes. I don't know how long this will last. I assume that the worst case scenario, I have to peel the cork off and everything and replace the cork when I replace the belt. But I don't think I'll have to replace it very often. I suspect I'll get multiple months out of this, if not years. So we'll see. And I'll let you know as we go along. But that's what I, the thing, the way I make them now is I just use spray adhesive and I tape it on the back side with Gorilla Tape to hold this thing on my drum. So if I want to go to my 4 inch drum, it's just as quick and easy as my 6 inch, except this circle here, instead of being a 6 inch, I took the piece that I cut out from my 6 inch drum and I cut a 4 inch circle in it. So I just put this insert in here. Now my 4 inch drum fits on here and I got zero clearance for this one. And again, just that quick and easy, I now have my 4 inch drum. And if I want dust collection, I can very quickly and easily put this in here and clamp it down. That quick and easy, I'm now ready for dust collection on my 4 inch sander. So you can see it sets up pretty fast and easily. And now, if I turn on my shot back, you can see the dust is pretty much going right up into my dust collector. This actually works amazingly well. So I don't get the airborne dust, which is what I was trying to accomplish with the way this is now set up. So dust collection, this is working very good. Uh, if you have any details about this that you want to know or whatever, just let me know. But obviously I'll, I did put these on here to help the flow of the dust to go back to the shop back. But that's the whole thing in a nutshell. Now, there's a couple of things I want to do here now that I've been using this. And I can actually use this now. Either my 4 inch or my 6 inch. And I can switch out to those just as quickly as I can my belt or my 2 inch drum sander. But I also figured out that if I want, I can actually leave this table on there. And if I want to use my original drums, all I really have to do is I take my washers off here and my center spacer. I did leave that one rubber washer there, but all that does is raise this up an extra quarter of an inch. I can still get the, the nut. Oh, there it is. I can still put the nut and washer on here to hold this in place. And I can still use this drum sander now, but I just don't have quite the height that I did before, which is, I lose about an inch, but most of the time that's fine anyway. And I can still use my dress, dust collector, so I can still use my original drums on this table or on the original table height, whichever I am at, depends on where I'm at at that moment. So it makes it pretty flexible to use this system and switch back and forth between all the different attachments. 
the drum, uh, the belt, uh, I still, I, that I had to take the table off for. Which is no big deal. As you saw, it goes on and off pretty quick and easy. But I still had just one minor problem here. Now I have to figure out where the heck I'm going to keep all these extra attachments. My table, my ring, my two drums, the spacers. So I have to kind of set up and organize that. Never ending. The other thing I want to do too is that now that I got this working pretty good, I think that what I want to do is I'd like to get a drum and make a drum with that is a flapper sander. Has the flapping sand pieces in it. So I'm thinking I'm going to make one of those that will sit on here and I'll be able to actually use a flapper sander. Uh, just a thought, but I think that'll be kind of a nice little attachment. The other thing I think I want to be able to do, quite frankly, is I also want to be able to put my anchor fence up on here. Didn't know where I put it. So I want to be able to mount this on here to give me an adjustable fence against my drum. And so I have to figure out how to do that. I'm going to put a couple of miter slots in it going 90 degrees to each other so that I can set up my miter gauge on here and use it for some kind of jig work too if I need to. So that I can find other things that I can do with this that I can't do now. Uh, if I take and set my anchor fence up and make a fence that sets like this, I can actually micro adjust it then and I can actually thickness sand using this setup, I think. And we're also going to set that up. So this thing will actually become a thickness sander, a drum sander for thickness sanding as well as just uh, freehand sanding before I'm done. Those are some of the things I want to do with it. The other thing I want to do is I really do want to make a dust hood that will go on here specifically designed for the belt attachment. Because as you know, as I said earlier, that thing really, it doesn't suck at all. Yes, it sucks. Anyway, that's the plan. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, especially if you make one yourself, please let me know. Let's see some videos of it at least or some pictures of it or something. I would really love it. Uh, but let me know if you do the same thing and try to make yours work and expand the capability. If you have any uh, suggestions or, or any questions about how to do any of this, just leave it in the comments. If you learned something here, got some new ideas, or if you just plain like this video, hit that like button. Sometimes you can use that even if you just learned something so I know you learned. But most importantly, come back again because you can see we're nowhere near done. Thanks, and we'll see you again very soon.